<laughs> Greetings and Merry Christmas. I thought I'd do another one of these because there were still a few things left in the room that uh, I hadn't uh, shared. Yeah, and also, also, a package came today. Ooh. So, um, for the uninitiated, this is the uh, second volume of Parry's Pickups, a feature I'm hoping to do reasonably regularly. I don't know exactly how regularly, as uh, I spend most of my time living in Denmark and I not receive nice eBay packages like this. So, um, yeah, let, let's see how it goes. But for now, we're rolling with it, and uh, welcome to Volume 2. Let's waste no time, and we shall uh, unwrap this little uh, doozy. I don't know what it is. I can't remember exactly. Oh, look at that. Oh, there we go. There we go. I forget off my finger we can carry on. Okay. Ooh, curious. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. ACDC Rock Band. Fantastic. Okay. So uh, I've not long got myself a, a uh, rock band guitar, the uh, John Lennon one, Beatles Rock Band, uh, for the PS3. I usually uh, played all the Guitar Hero games on and Rock Band on the Wii. But, you know, with the advent of um, Rock Band 4 on the PS4, I decided time to get a guitar for the PS3 that I can use on PS4 and also maybe get a couple of the uh, Rock Band games on PS3. Recently I picked up Rock Band 3 for next to nothing, about a fiver or something like that, and uh, now I've got a ACDC Rock Band, which was, was £8 including delivery, uh, a little bit less than the £14.99, the very old game price sticker in the corner, uh, but that's cool. Uh, the seller had like loads of these. Like he, I don't know if he bought them in bulk or something. He had like forty for sale, something like that. Um, but yeah, that seems in good condition actually. So I look forward to uh, doing a bit of that. Maybe on Christmas Day, you know, a bit of ACDC rock band. Uh, what else do we have in this little room here that I didn't talk about yesterday? Well. Uh, I've been collecting Star Wars games, as as uh, I mentioned last time, and I also have a few uh, Star Wars games for PC. Up here, we've got a few uh, new pickups. A game I always wanted to play back in the day, but I, for some reason, I didn't think my PC was powerful enough. I don't know what happened. Uh, why I didn't pick this up? Maybe maybe at the time my PC wasn't powerful enough. I later got a, another one that could run it, and by that time my interest had dwindled, perhaps. But this is Star Wars Jedi Knight, Dark Forces 2, Mystery of the Sith, works fine on my uh, old PC. Um, and yeah, it runs in a reasonably good resolution. It's it's really good. It's really good. Um, got some uh, nice uh, FMV cutscenes in there as well, which is always nice to see in a Star Wars game. So I recommend that if you haven't already played it. Games I haven't played yet, which I can't recommend or tell you what I think of them yet, um, would be X-Wing Alliance, which would or should also run on the PC that I've got, uh, which is a blessing. Um, Windows 95 required, you see, you can see there it's a reasonably old game. Uh, Pentium 90 or faster. I think it's actually a similar tale with uh, Jedi Knight. That's uh, Pentium 90 or faster. But... Uh, you know, 32 megabytes of RAM required, so I'm sure you got enough RAM for that one. Uh, these games won't run on my PC. They're actually bought as a bulk lot locked. Uh, these two were the ones I wanted. Uh, the rest... I don't have this game uh, on any other format. I used to have it on Xbox 360. No, Xbox 360, sorry, original Xbox. Um, I got rid of it because I still had um, Jedi Outcast, which is also here as well, uh, but I'd never got round to getting stuck into it. So I thought, well, I don't. When I was in a period of selling games, I sold uh, this. So now I have it again. One day, maybe I'll play it again. I don't know. It depends on if I ever get a new PC. Unlikely, seeing that I uh, use a uh, Mac now. Uh, ooh. And this one came with it too. Of course, this is a game I already got on the Xbox. It's a, it's a classic. Could be deemed a classic, I think. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, so these are all like added extras, I'd say. So that's those. There's one more Star Wars PC game I haven't shared yet, and that is right behind me. It's not a game, actually. It's a, 
a multimedia CD-ROM. This is called the Star Wars Trilogy CD-ROM. And what this has on it is loads of Star Wars video clips and sound effects. So I'm looking forward to getting stuck into this and, uh, you know, it's nice to have this sort of thing. You know, the sound effects especially. You know, to think of all the ways you could use these. In fact, it may be a Worms sound bank. I used to have a Star Wars sound bank for Worms. I think they were captured from uh, perhaps the films themselves. But to have the actual audio clips from the film on here, I can imagine lots of uses for this sort of thing. Um, fairly fairly um, inexpensive, should I say. Fairly affordable thing you can pick up. Uh, I recommend it for Star Wars fans. Got the potential. And here, still behind us, is, I haven't introduced this yet, but this is the uh, Lemmings collection, the uh, PC and Amiga and Mac side of things. And there are a couple of recent pickups in this little lot, which I'll share now. Uh, that would be firstly Lemmings for Mac, uh, which I bought because it has a really good cover. Unfortunately, this is for, you know, an much older uh, Macintosh computer which I don't have access to so I did have a rule where I'd only buy uh, Lemmings games for formats so I could actually play them on but also one of the big reasons for collecting these Lemmings games was I loved the box art and the characters of the Lemmings and so when I saw this cover which is actually similar to the 3DO cover in fact the 3DO cover is cropped here uh, so this is nice a nice thing to have and you've got some nice artwork on the back as well. Not much I can say about Lemmings, but it's great. There we are. Lemmings. Fantastic. Always has been. Always will be. Played the Spectrum version of uh, Lemmings last night. You know, uh, despite the fact I was using the keyboard, I was quite impressed. Uh, I have to get my joystick plugged in for next time. Here we have the add-on pack for Lemmings, and that is Oh No More Lemmings, with perhaps some of the nicest Lemmings box art there has ever been. Oh my lord, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. And on the back there as well. And as a little bonus, the seller threw in a lot of stuff. This is a very heavy box and contains more than um, was originally uh, contained in this uh, edition. I just open it up quickly. Uh, so, if we just... Ooh, take the lid off. We've got Oh No More Lemmings, Disc 1 and 2 for the Mac. We also have the original Lemmings for the Macintosh included as well, which is on three discs. And then another version of Lemmings for the Macintosh, which is again on three discs. So that's three, two versions of Lemmings for the Macintosh. I don't know the difference, one on white, one on blue, and then you've got the Oh No More Lemmings on two discs for Mac. Uh, the seller was also kind enough to throw in something I already have, but something which was you know, very generous of him, was the uh, Lemmings for Windows. I don't have this edition of it actually, to be honest, I have the original big box edition with Lemmings Paintball, but Lemmings for Windows there as well, so if you haven't got a Mac, you still bought yourself a copy of Lemmings, which is... Fantastic. Uh, multiple instruction manuals in this box. You have this one, and then you also have, as far as I can tell, these two are exactly the same. Two copies of the Macintosh manual. I don't know why. Um, Apple Macintosh loading instructions. Uh, Lemmings instructions for the original game, and you know, why not a second pair of instructions? And lastly, more Macintosh loading instructions, the European supplements, whereas this is also the European, this is oh no more Lemmings loading instructions, and that is Lemmings in loading. Oh my lord, there's so much in this box. It's a plethora of Lemmings delights, and I'm happy to have been able to pick that up. Unfortunately, these two games are slightly on the expensive side because the Mac versions of Lemmings are a little yeah. bit more, ooh, it trumped, a little bit more collectible than the uh, regular, say, Amiga or PC edition. And speaking of uh, Amiga editions of Lemmings, there's one more I picked up, which is really a bit of an extra. I, this wasn't necessary purchase, but I got it anyway. See, I already have these two games, and that is Lemmings for Amiga. And oh no, more lemmings for Amiga separately. Oh, perfectly good. 
but I decided to get this slightly rarer variant, uh, which is the ooh, the special limited edition double pack, which contains all the discs for those two games I just showed you. It's a different cover. I picked this up because it was quite cheap, and I thought it was worthwhile. Uh, I don't know if you could hear the music before, that was Sparks. I thought I'd add a little bit of extra. It was just on. I thought, well, I'll leave it on. A bit of extra background music. If you couldn't hear it, then oh, there you go. But it's, it's, it's finished now. Um, it's, a bit, it's a bit, I don't know if you can see that. It's a bit battered. But um, it's perfectly, perfectly good. Um, add that to the, the lemon clone. Something I could do with that I haven't got is the PC version of Oh No More Lemon. That's a regular PC version of the game. And for some reason, I'm not going to go into the story now why I have two copies of Christmas Lemmings 93, uh, but briefly, one's an Amiga and one's a PC copy. I didn't intend to pick up the PC copy, but I, I, I got it anyway. Save that story for another day. Um, there are a couple more things, very quickly, to share here. This is a nice thing for the Amiga. This is the... Addicted to Fun collection, um, quite appropriately titled for the games inside. You've got Rainbow Island, Bubble Bobble, and New Zealand Story. What a, what a cute little box there. And uh, they're all on uh, separate discs, one disc each here, with a, I love these ocean bags that meet games in there. And then you've got the um, oof, yeah, small little instruction manual there. Put some yeah, nice little graphics in. Well, that's another thing, and to play my Amiga games, I, I, you know, most of the time I think I use a Mega Drive controller actually. Uh, but I saw a joystick available online, and Amiga compatible. This is the uh, Mitsubishi MX X computer joystick. Oh, lovely, lovely box art there. Do you think? Very nice little thing, and uh, inside, equally as pleasing on the eye. This is from Rockrabelia, Rock which is a rather good sale. Sells a lot of Spectrum games on eBay as well. So most of my Spectrum collection are actually um, purchased from outside. This is a nice thing. That that is a particularly nice looking joystick. It's very light, um, but oh, very manoeuvrable. Very nice indeed. So there we have it, the um, Mitsubishi MXX Computer ML50JY Joystick, a nice addition to the collection. And uh, that's it. Uh, until next time, ta-ta and Merry Christmas again.